is everybody? <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Tim Kubi. You can call me Fan and welcome back to a new video. This feels so old because I'm in my old like setting. I haven't filmed something with this setting for a long time and I'm filming with my phone because my camera still broke. We love that. Anyways, today I'm going to talk about Victorian and Edwardian Christmas traditions. I thought this would be a fun idea to post on Christmas, yes, um, because I love Christmas and the main books I read are Victorian or Edwardian or set during those times and it's a really interesting time period so I think it would be interesting to just see some of the traditions they used to have so let's go. I have my book here because I'm not like genuinely smart enough to remember all of them. <laughs> Also, um, normally I would put like the links that I got my information from um, in my description, but I kind of don't have the links anymore. But if you just look up like Edwardian or Victorian Christmas traditions, I just use like all the sites you could find because there's not a lot of information. First, let's talk about the favorite thing about Christmas, which is decorating. So the thing we're all wondering, maybe you already know, so you're not wondering, but that might be that they have a Christmas tree. And yes, indeed, the Victorians and Edwardians did have, that was my laptop, <laughs> did have a Christmas tree. The Christmas tree was actually introduced by Prince Albert, who was German and who is obviously Queen Victoria's husband. So that's all I really find, but found, but I suppose that means that in Germany they did it already, they have been doing it for a longer time than in the UK, I suppose, I don't know, that's just what I think, I'm not a professional, and if anything I'm saying in this video is wrong, if there's any historians out there, please correct me, I'm just saying what I found. Ever since it got introduced in the UK, the Christmas tree was set in almost every house and was decorated with homemade ornaments. I think that's something we should do again, like make your own ornaments, that's cute, that's really cute. Stuff you could find in there are, for example, I'm just gonna read it because I I didn't really do anything to prepare this video except for write stuff down. Um, you could find gold ribbon, tie bows, crystals, and the top star was also um, homemade. Now, obviously, you don't only decorate your tree, but you also decorate your house. Indoors, in the house, there's not really a lot of different things. It's also mainly homemade decorations and mainly also natural decoration like ivy, laurels, what else did we have? Um, paper chains, floral wreaths, and stuff like that. So that's what you found indoors. Now, um, the mistletoe actually was also already used back then in the Victorian and Edwardian era, so that's cool. Now, something essential to Christmas decoration and also like presents kind of mingled together is stockings. And they actually did put up stockings, but they didn't often get something. It kind of really depended on in what family you were born and whether you were rich or middle class or normal or poor, which is obvious, but I just think back then it made much more of a difference. Stocking started towards the end of the 19th century, so it's more Edwardian than Victorian. And what kids could find in those stockings were most often sweets, homemade toys, or um, nuts and oranges. That's what they could find in there. Now, something essential for Christmas is the food. So what they ate was mainly stuffed goose um, with apples, gooseberries, and bread sauces. The stuffing consisted of pork, chestnuts, and apple as well, which honestly sounds good. <laughs> And obviously there were plum puddings made. I heard they actually made the plum puddings like a lot on forehand and in this like special way that made them like the best. I didn't know there were like so many different ways to make plum puddings, but that's what they ate. That's what they did. Yes. Honestly, talking about this really just reminds me, reminds me of Marilla Cuthbert and also just Anne with an E in that one scene. Gilbert and Anne with the candles in the Christmas tree. I should look that up. Did they really put candles in the Christmas tree? I don't know. Questionable. That I will look that up. 
and now the most fun part the presents both giving receiving presents honestly we would be lying if we were saying that it's not our favorite thing maybe you're not lying if you say that i'm lying <laughs> i love presents giving them but also receiving them not gonna lie i mean i just like presents just unwrapping gifts and it doesn't need to be a big thing you know but just like mm, i love presents I'm sorry, I'm getting so distracted because I haven't filmed in so long. <laughs> I don't know how to do it anymore. I can only vlog. Anyways, presents. Shocker, but the presents were also a homemade. Most of the times they would give each other stuff like embroidered handkerchiefs, um, homemade peppermints, which was pretty cool. I saw that and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And also sugared almonds. Apparently, that's nice. And obviously, Christmas gifts have to be wrapped. So they made their own wrapping paper, which is so cool. And I think that's such a great concept. It reminds me of um, elementary school where we made our own wrapping paper once and our own stamps out of potatoes. <laughs> I don't know why that reminded me of that, but unlike most people these days, children got only one gift most of the times except if they were from a wealthy family and then they would, for example, get a doll or maybe even a doll house for the richest ones. Other kids mainly got what I just said, what they could find in stockings like sweets and just homemade goods. Another thing is, funny, I came, I came across that is that the teddy bear was actually introduced around that time and it became like a thing that a lot of children wanted but obviously not a lot of children got but still that's when the teddy bear like came to life so that's cute they obviously don't really come alive but you know what i mean they like existed maybe teddy bears do come alive we don't know that right we don't and then the most perfect gift for this year because we can't all be together christmas cards Sending Christmas cards actually became pretty popular during the Victorian era, mainly because starting from the 1840s, um, postage was actually pretty cheap in the UK. So they just recklessly sent postcards to everyone. However, they weren't they weren't they weren't like we see them today. It's actually pretty funny. I actually think Rachel Maxi, who is one of my favorite YouTubers, has a video on reacting to Victorian postcards. And that was pretty funny. So if I can find it, I'll link it in the description. In the description. Wow. Um, if I can remember, though. I'm probably not going to remember it, but we'll see. Um, I will show you guys some examples. So I will show you guys some examples. I love this thing, by the way. As you, as you can see, they are not your normal postcards. Also, fun thing, Santa actually on the postcards wasn't dressed in red but in blue now that was everything i had to tell you about victorian edwardian christmas i hope you learned a little again if there's any historians or people who know about the victorian and edwardian era watching this and you've seen any mistakes just let me know just let me know in the comments i'll pin your comments so that everyone else can also know that what i said was very untrue i hope however that i did say true stuff and that you guys didn't like it and that you're excited for more videos to come if you want to see more of me don't forget to subscribe i make a lot of bookish related content history related content well i'm only starting history related content but there's a lot coming a lot of more videos like this hopefully um so yeah stay happy stay healthy stay educated that's a good one i normally say stay healthy stay happy stay reading because i normally make reading videos so that's kind of clever isn't it anyways thank you so much for watching my video i'll see you next time bye